Welcome to Sinister Heroes. I'm your host, Danny Iniquitous. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to answer the question, why on earth would you want to be in a party with the Joker? Chaotic, evil, let's get it covered. Um, this is a very complex, evil alignment. It's very difficult to play correctly. There's a lot of little nuances and, and like oddly enough, restrictions and things you kind of have to do in order to be able to play this kind of of alignment it's very difficult it's very very challenging for a dm to dm a character like this especially if you're one of the characters that tends to be very active and very towards the forefront of the uh, the npc negotiations or talking in general those kinds of characters being this kind of alignment breed for some insane situations that sometimes can be difficult to hold to difficult to play with and difficult to maintain the storyline that the dm has written so before we get into all of that, um, we're going to jump right into what chaotic evil is. So like many of us here, you've probably fallen in love with the clown prince of crime himself, the Joker, and you wanted to incorporate that kind of a character into your game. You wanted more than anything to be that character. And who is the Joker if he is not chaotic evil? Well, what is chaotic evil? That's really what we need to first understand before we can actually do something even close to being that kind of a character. Um, first, if you enjoy the content, please like, share, and subscribe, comment, let us know what you're thinking, stuff you want us to cover. We'd love to uh, hear from all of you. Uh, chaotic evil is this inherent disagreement with order as a whole. Like, you... you don't like organizations you don't like feeling this need to follow these rules because other people have put them in existence you basically appreciate a true form of freedom but you have this inherent violence to your character that's that's almost polluted your your philosophy here uh, i know that sounded a little convoluted but uh you you it's who you are. You're, you're, you're complicated. You like things not having restrictions. You don't like labels. Those aren't who you are. You think the best way to act is, is however you feel. You're hedonistic. If it gives you pleasure, you want it. If it gives you power, you need it. If it hurts other people, you enjoy it. Those are the kinds of things that normally are inherent in chaotic evil. And that's part of the reason why they cause such a problem. There's such a an emotional alignment like you go on what you feel so much it's hard to keep that bottled and keep that in check so really it's it's very very difficult to kind of put that into a nice little box to make it work there you're so free to do anything basically your only restrictions are don't follow the rules you know like you you you're so free to what you to do what you do it's it's very dangerous because it's hard to predict what your actions are going to be and that unpredictability is inherent in all chaotic characters because you kind of get that freedom to just do uh being chaotic evil the violence the the greed the hedonism those kinds of things are are necessary in evil alignments because it kind of makes you who you are when you're evil um but chaos is a problem it's hard to get them to work together because why would you follow someone else why would you work with someone especially if you consider them equal power to yourself there's nothing to gain for you there it's very very difficult so what we're going to talk about is how to get that to work how to get that jump over that and into a realm where you can actually do something great with it so how do you work in a group how do you get your chaotic evil character to want to be in a party first and foremost the best way to do this the best way we've had any experience with playing chaotic evil characters is focusing in on your hatred for order and law laser point that to your focus and then pick someone you hate pick maybe an acolyte at a church that's very powerful or a noble or a government or a military organization something like that and then do everything you can to tear that down. That way you focus all of your energy towards that. Maybe this acolyte is praised to a certain god and now you've caught reason to hate this god or to cause people to no longer pray to this god. To start a new religion right under their feet. To steal devotion from the followers of this god and ruin this acolyte. And cause him pain and cause him suffering because he's lost everything. And maybe in that doubt, you've caused him to go against his teachings, his own beliefs, and that chaos that ensued, that is yours. 
that is your gift. You revel in that. Or maybe you want to be someone who sells a soul to Asmodeus, but then also secretly sold his soul to Mephistopheles. And now you've caused this wonderful scenario where you have two incredibly powerful fiends who already are kind of at odds with each other. Now they have both have to claim your soul. And you get to see that chaos ensue while funneling power within from both of them. You got to think outside of the box because you got to get away from thinking of your party as things that are non-essential. You might want to have a couple of clerics around you to just shield away some of what your demonic dealings have caused. So that way maybe it's harder for you to be detected or you want to maybe work with some thieves or, or um, paladins because they give you this intricate way into these other fields. Maybe you want to work your way up with a lore bard or, or something and work your way into the governments. You want to be able to do those things because getting to there is where you can cause mayhem. Getting the government to start bickering amongst themselves causes chaos as that trickles down. You want to do things like that because it gives your character's motivation. And, and don't get me wrong, you sometimes you'll play modules or whatever it is and everything will kind of be set in a way that you really don't have a lot of leeway to do that. But working your actions or your plans to do those things, that's really where you get these RP moments to play up that you're chaotic evil. And that's really where your character and who you are shines because you get to be that character in those few moments and you get to really show your intentions and maybe work with some of those things. Uh, it's fun being a little disruptive. But you got to keep that in check because too much of it is going to derail your campaign and it's going to cause a giant problem. The best way you stop that is you listen to the party. You listen to some of their ideas and understand that you're not all powerful. You might have a grand self-understanding and consider yourself the great amongst other things, but you are not omnipotent. And you are fully aware of that because you need to understand consequences. And that's going to be the best way for you to work within your party because they will shield you from some of them. You want to do dirty deeds, try and do them secretively, try and be a character that only needs to sleep for like four hours somewhat consciously and then go out in the night and cause mayhem. So go, go, go out at like three in the morning and burn a building down, whatever it is. But you have to be able to do that in a way that you can not disrupt your party. You want to be able to keep them on your side. And you do that by focusing your evil intentions to bigger things that aren't so close or so small, like stealing an item or, or withholding gold from your party or opening up a chest that no one saw you open and then pocketing all of that. That's not really going to benefit you. That really doesn't show what you are. It really minimizes what you are as opposed to being the Joker. You're now just acting like one of his henchmen. You know, you got to think grander. And you, you got to think big enough that your party's suffering doesn't mean anything to you. So keeping them happy means something to you. Um, and that's really, really what's going to get you through having issues with your party is getting to understand that you need them. Creating a chaotic evil character. One of the things that works really well is building a trickster type character. Someone that's able to get close to someone and then find out what's necessarily important for their life and then removing it. Because then that person now has in, entered this panic mode that, that wonderfully causes a domino effect in their life. That's kind of what chaos really is. If you remove the sun for a year, humanity would go mad. If you destroyed the internet for three days completely worldwide, could you imagine what would occur? It's devastating because these things that are necessary for our lives are gone or at least seem to be gone being a trickster type character it greatly works into this chaotic evil because all you have to do is find out these things and try to get situations where they're removed and watching other people go crazy that's really what makes the joker great because he does this constantly he constantly toys with with the things that hold society together, you know, like, and characters that do that are so, so frightening because what would you do in those situations? You now have to decide against sometimes your own morality, you know, and it's important to try and get those situations to occur by being able to watch them. 
And the way you can do that is you got to get close to them. One of the best ways to do that is probably dump a lot into charisma and being that kind of charismatic or that, that robust, like, like flamboyant, like always at the center of attention kind of a character because you have to be able to get prestige in order to get close to the right people in order to take away certain things. You want to be able to cause that illusion, you know, being, being very, being a kind of character that's very magically charged, you can use things like fear or illusionary magic and help bring about this idea that these things are happening and that you now these people who are in power are getting scared and acting off of impulse. You know, you want to do those kinds of things and that is what makes you I, like, that's one of the better foundations of being chaotic evil because you can use that to cause disruption. You know, get get be a bard, um, go kiss a noble's hand and bite his nail off, and then cast dream every night and distort your own image and cause him fear that his own people are gonna rally against him and that they're plotting against him currently. Continuously do that and cause the effect that we make some make the save so that way he can ultimately get exhaustion and keep doing it and watch how much that impacts what you're doing. You have a king going mad, things are gonna get strange. But if you need to cause a problem or a distraction in order to get into somewhere, doing something like that benefits the party and it lets you get your inky tendrils into something you really, really want. Um, Again, when building a character, you got to talk to your DM, talk to your players, let them know what's going on, what you want to do, some kinds of things, and try to make something that has a goal, has a purpose. And our best best efforts with playing chaotic evil characters that have worked well and that we've enjoyed being were the ones that were focused on taking down something larger than petty circumstances. Think big. It's a great way to kind of focus your attention away the, from the smaller things, which allows you to walk around in towns and not be too concerned about, oh, let me just steal, let me just kill, let me just, oh, this guy just is bothering me at the gate. Let me just murder him and put him aside and just walk right in. Like, I don't need to know about what's going on. I'm just going to grab something to eat. You want to avoid that. You want to be able to focus on larger things, like what you're doing, what the enemies are, and who your friends are becoming enticed into doing what you want you know you want to be able to be that kind of involved uh thank you for tuning in again if you enjoy the content please like share and subscribe and thank you for giving a spooky kid a chance